Well, welcome, folks, to another video clip of my banjo lessons, and we're going to concentrate on this tune playing in the background, which is a great, fat swallow tune. I'll be back in a few bars, and we'll uh, take it from there. Keeping out of mischief now. One, two, a one, two. Yeah, that great tune's off an album here called Sets Plays Fats. And I've had this for years and uh, played the hell out of it. It's such a great uh, album with so many great fat swallow tunes on it. And of course, uh, played by Louis Armstrong and his All Stars. And it's amazing the, uh, the amount of uh, things you can pick up that I pick up off the recordings, you know, little finesse things people do. And... Uh, and put them into the memory bank for future reference when you're playing a tune. And uh, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with this tune, actually. I'm going to post the sheet music here on Banjo Hangout. It's in the key of C. And uh, today I thought I'd concentrate on the ending, which uh, was one of Louis' innovations. And it only lasts a couple of bars, and um, it's based on an E-flat diminished. And... Uh, it's a pretty little ending, I think. So I'm going to readjust my um, microphone and uh, set up and come back and show you how to play it on banjo. Okay, here we go with uh, Louis' tag ending, which is two bars of E flat. And then we go back to the D7, G7, C in the standard music for the last couple of bars to finish it off. So I'll just take it through real slow for you. last bar of C I played on the finishing note uh, or the starting note of the bar I just hit a C harmonic on the fourth string at the same time which is the notes of B, B flat, A all played with a C chord. Well good luck with keeping out of mischief now if you're going to have a crack at it and you'll also find the music uh, on a site called the Firehouse Five Jazz Fake Book, which is free and uh, you can download it from Google. I'm also going to post my batting track at the end of this video clip for those of you who want to jam along with it. Might make it a bit easier. Well, I've usually got a theme uh, on my uh, clips that I uh, close out with. And the one I've got today is a phrase I've just picked up recently called Learn to listen and listen to learn. And I think I've always been that way inclined. Though I mean, we all listen to banjo players and, and the jazz greats or country music and we try to pick up on little things that, that we really like and we try to copy them. And I've always been like that, whether it's been Chet Atkins, Bobby Hackett, Jack Teagarden and our own. Eddie Davis, who had that great uh, album, 
called the New York uh, Banjo Ensemble. And uh, Daddy, I tell you what, I hammered that and uh, got a lot of uh, knowledge out of that uh, recording you made back then. So when you're listening to a tune or you've heard it, try and suss out what they're doing and try and pick your banjo up, whether it's just a passing phrase or some lick you've heard in that song. And I do it all the time and I love it. And I can usually crack it and uh, come up with the goods. And you'll find that eventually it helps you with your uh, overall banjo playing. So uh, before I do leave you, this banjo here has been lent to me by a friend of mine, Derek Cheswin, and it's for sale. And it's absolutely a beautiful platinum banjo. And uh, I'll put Derek's side up uh, on the bottom of the uh, video. And uh, if you want to uh, get in touch with Derek and see this banjo, he hasn't got a big amount of money on it. That's one of the greatest banjos I've ever played. Not that my sound system does it much justice, but it's harmonically beautiful. It's a capital banjo uh, made in um, England. And uh, there wasn't too many made, but it's just finished off beautiful. It looks a bit like a Gibson, but it's up there with a, one of the best banjos I've ever played. So on that happy note, I'll leave you to it, and uh, all the best with your banjo playing, and keep at it. Bye for now. One, two, a one, two, three.